Hi guys, this is Manas and today uh, I'm going to continue with my discussion on projection of planes and more specifically this is going to be a problem based on traces of planes. So it goes like this. An equilateral triangle of 50 mm side has its vertical trace parallel to and 25 mm above H xy. It has no HT that is horizontal trace. Draw its projections when one of its sides is inclined at 45 degree to the VP. Now guys, in order to understand this problem, in order to try and solve this genuinely, you need to understand the concept of traces. Now let us see what traces of planes is all about. So I am going to illustrate this uh, with the help of a diagram. So let us draw a horizontal plane and a vertical plane. This over here is a vertical plane, right? And this is okay. This is a horizontal plane. This one is a horizontal plane. This is a vertical plane. So let us write that. This is horizontal plane. Now, I'm going to put up a, a plane over here. It is somewhat a rectangular plane. And we're going to observe as to how its traces can be located, right? Now, let us do that um, with the help of this pink colored um, sketch pen. Now, so this is the pro this is the plane which we are concerned about, right? Now we are going to look at this plane from the front. Now let us look at this plane from the front. Uh, this is something which you're going to observe. Okay, extend this. This is exactly what you will observe this line. Okay. So if you extend the plane along its plane and the place where it meets the vertical plane is its trace. Okay. On extending this plane, we found that it meets the vertical plane along this line. So this is the vertical trace V T. Fine. Right. And when you look at this plane from the top, you'll see this. Something like this, right? And when you join the points in proper sequence, you'll sub see something like this. Okay. So I'll write over here. So it does not have a horizontal trace. For a plane, trace has got to be a line. So for a plane, trace has got to be a line. And as far as this particular case is concerned, this is a vertical trace since a line is obtained on the vertical plane. Okay. So this has no H T, right? So this was a case. So this was a case where the plane was in fact plane. Parallel to and above HP. Now we'll be discussing a case where we'll be considering a plane which is parallel to VP and in front of HP. Right. So let us quickly draw. this this is going to be our vertical plane this is our horizontal plane let me write it v p h p okay now i'll construct a plane which is absolutely parallel to vp 
So this is a plane which is absolutely parallel to VP. Now we are going to look at this plane from the front and we are also going to look at this plane uh, from the top. Okay. Now one more thing which you guys should observe is when you if you if you extend this plane okay if you extend this plane downwards you can observe this okay. you'll you'll have a line so as far as this particular case is concerned you have a horizontal trace right and when you look at this plane from the front okay you'll observe this okay so it has no vertical trace no VT okay vertical trace for a plane is always a line and a line is obtained here on the horizontal plane so it's a HT at, as far as this particular case is concerned a line is obtained in the vertical plane and hence this is a VT right so this should be enough for you guys to understand as to what the concept of trace as far as planes is concerned is remember plane is a line trace right trace for a plane is a line always a line it may be on VP which is called a VT so that line may be on a horizontal plane or a HT right thank you okay guys now let us switch back again to this particular problem uh, I'll draw the I'll try to immediately draw the XY line so here we have an XY line XY line right um, now 50 mm side this is an equilateral triangle uh, having 50 mm side each and its vertical trace is parallel to and 25 mm above x y now you you know very well that this is a triangle triangle in fact is a plane it has no ht so the case is so this is the case which we are dealing with no horizontal trace so this is how your equilateral triangle would be placed that means absolutely parallel to the horizontal plane okay at the same time the true shape the true shape of this plane is evident from the top so we can start by drawing the top view first so we'll start by drawing the top view okay I'll come downwards slightly this distance can be anything you can take it as one centimeter or two centimeter I'll put a point over here let us say that this point is a dash right what the next thing which needs to be done is to ensure that this condition is fulfilled or satisfied and it completely reflects in our problem that is in one of its side is inclined at 45 degree to the VP now we've got to ensure this I'm going to draw a reference line over here okay and based on this line I'm going to draw a line over here which is going to be at an angle of 45 degrees so this angle guys this angle is 45 degree okay the true shape of this equilateral triangle is evident from the top I have already said and then you can put two arcs over here one arc will become one arc from this point one arc from this point let us say that this point over here is B dash you need to put up two points one arc over here and one arc over here okay these two arcs have been put up with B dash and A dash as center and radius will be 50 mm this is 50 mm radius will be 50 mm okay so you're gonna observe this obtain this something like this right okay so this is how the equilateral triangle looks like from the top and it has been said in the question that its vertical trace is parallel to its vertical trace is parallel to and 25 mm above xy okay so this is the condition which we are going to show here now so what I will do right now is I'll make a line I'll make a rather uh, construction line and the distance or the height at which this construction line is 25 right now just need to do this look at this object from the front 
you'll get this okay the vertical trace in the vertical plane and trace is a line so this is the line which we were concerned with this point is B this point is this is A and this is A dash this is B dash and this over here is C this is C dash so there are no dash this is no dash okay sorry I'm omitting this it's a top view so no dash in top view and dashes in front view so this is in fact the vertical trace and uh, no horizontal trace no HT that's it guys and thank you for watching the video this uh, particular video was uh, has been made by me on a special request by one of my students Arshad thank you Arshad see you again guys and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below thank you